Hey everyone, and welcome back to Power Up Your English. I'm your host, Michelle, and I'm going to be giving you tips and talking through ways to get you to excel your English. Now today is a special day because I've decided to go on an adventure into space to get us learning all about it. In today's episode, we'll be talking about what do astronauts do in space? How do astronauts eat, sleep, maintain personal hygiene and float into space? And look at vocabulary about space. So, without further ado, let's begin our episode on astronauts in space by launching ourselves in our rocket. Okay, are you ready? Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Oh! <laughs> Hello! Good morning, Space Angel! <laughs> space Angel? Uh, hello? It's a beautiful day, and here at Mission Control, we are ready to launch. <laughs> here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> wait, what? What's with the eighties music? Ah, uh, uh, wait. What are you doing there? <laughs> it's great, isn't it? <laughs> okay, enjoy space. Here goes! Two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. world just beautiful wow <laughs> oh. well now that we're in outer space let's explore what astronauts do in space <laughs> one what do astronauts do in space the definition of an astronaut is someone who's trained to travel in a spacecraft they are skilled individuals who have to be adaptable, get on well with other crew members, as well as handle high stress situations. So with all that being said, what things do they do? As you can see, I'm floating in what's known as zero gravity. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Zero gravity is when everything floats because there's no strong force pulling us down, like on Earth. Therefore, one thing that astronauts do in space is constantly float. They'll work, eat, drink and even sleep while floating. But what else do they do? Science experiments. Astronauts perform scientific experiments in space that wouldn't be possible on Earth. These include studying how plants grow, recording and testing how the human body reacts to space, and experimenting with various materials from Earth to test in space. Spacecraft maintenance. Astronauts are trained to fix and maintain the space station or spaceship whilst they are in space. This includes repairing broken equipment, checking air, water and power systems, and updating software and computer systems. Spacewalks, extravehicular activity or EVA. 
Sometimes astronauts go outside the spacecraft to make repairs or install new equipment. These are called spacewalks, also known as extravehicular activity or EVA. When out on these spacewalks, astronauts will wear special spacesuits to protect them from getting too hot or cold and from getting hurt by space dust. Spacesuits also give astronauts oxygen to breathe while they are working in space. 2. How do astronauts eat, sleep, maintain personal hygiene and float in zero gravity? Now, as an astronaut, it's most likely that when they're up there in space, they'll probably need to be there for quite some time. Therefore, there will be a few adjustments to their everyday lives. Simple things that we take for granted, like making breakfast, brushing our teeth, or having a shower, can all pose challenges to astronauts when out in space. And as mentioned earlier, the astronauts have to do all of this in zero gravity. So let's investigate how astronauts do these things. Eating in zero gravity. In space, as there is no gravity, Food doesn't stay on plates or in cups like it does on Earth. Instead, astronauts eat food that is specially packaged and prepared to prevent it from floating away. Many meals are freeze-dried, meaning astronauts add water to make them edible. Drinks, like juice or coffee, come in sealed pouches with straws to avoid spills. Foods, like tortillas, are used over bread to avoid crumbs damaging equipment. Eating in space sounds like lots of fun, but it's also tricky. Astronauts have got to be very careful to keep everything contained while enjoying their meals. Sleeping in zero gravity. Now this sounds fun. As there is no sense of up or down due to the lack of gravity, astronauts can technically sleep in any orientation, securing themselves in sleeping bags to prevent them floating around. Each astronaut has a personal sleeping area, a small cabin or compartment about the size of a phone booth, which provides privacy and some soundproofing. Without gravity, there's no need for a mattress or pillow. Astronauts float in their sleeping bags and often report sleeping better in space because there's no pressure on their bodies. They also use special lighting and follow a strict sleep schedule to maintain their body clocks. Personal hygiene in zero gravity. Maintaining personal hygiene in zero gravity poses unique challenges as water behaves differently in space, requiring creative solutions. For example, when brushing their teeth, astronauts use a regular toothbrush with a small amount of toothpaste. And instead of spitting out their toothpaste, they simply have to swallow it or wipe it away with a cloth. Showers are not an option, since water would form floating droplets which could damage equipment. Therefore, instead, astronauts clean themselves with rinse-free body wipes or wet washcloths using a small amount of water from a pouch for washing. To wash their hair, they use no rinse shampoo, massaging it in and wiping it off with a towel. And as for going for a number one and two, Astronauts use specially designed equipment that uses suction to manage waste. Moving around in zero gravity. As mentioned earlier, astronauts float instead of walking. This means that they need to use specific equipment and techniques for movement. Handrails and foot restraints are installed on the walls, ceilings and floors to provide stability when moving around. Astronauts move by gently pushing off surfaces like walls or handrails, with even a small push propelling them across from one area to another. Because momentum continues without gravity to slow it, astronauts learn to precisely control their movements, stopping themselves by grabbing onto objects or using their hands and feet. Cool, huh? 3. Vocabulary about space. So now we've learned what astronauts do and get up to in space, it's time for us to learn about what vocabulary we can use when talking about astronauts in space. Now the list is endless, but I've put together our top 10 words to help us understand a bit more about being out of this world. <laughs> 
Get it? Out of this world? Get it? <laughs> Gravity, the force that pulls objects toward each other, like the Earth pulling us down. Zero gravity, the condition in which people or objects appear to be weightless. Astronaut, a person trained to travel in a spacecraft. Spacecraft, a vehicle designed for travel or operation in outer space. Extravehicular activity, EVA, activities performed by an astronaut outside of a spacecraft. Launch, the process of sending a spacecraft into space. Space station, a large spacecraft in orbit that provides a home and workplace for astronauts. Mission control, the center that manages the operation of a space mission. Spacewalk, another term for extravehicular activity working outside the spacecraft. Orbit, the curved path of a spacecraft around a planet or object. Well, that concludes our episode today on astronauts in space. Next week, we'll be... Oh, do... What's happening? What's happening? For more English videos, look up Power Up Your English on RTHK's YouTube channel. Oh, what do you want with me? What will happen during next week's episode? Will Michelle ever make it back to Earth? Will she be able to communicate with the alien? Join us next week for another episode of Power Up Your English! <laughs>